Hi guys, welcome to the second video of splay trees where we will learn insertion in splay trees. How do we perform insert operation in splay trees, right? So in the previous video, we learned many things about splay trees. We saw what are splay trees. We learned about different operations like zig operation, zigzag operation, zigzag operation. And then we also found the amortized time complexity of splay trees. And apart from that, we compared splay trees with other binary search trees, that is red black trees and AVL trees. And then finally, I discussed some applications of splay trees. And we also saw that how the property of locality of reference is relevant when it comes to splay trees. So please go and watch the previous video and come back and on this video where we will learn the insert operation in splay trees in the best way possible. Okay. In the previous video, we also learned how to do search or how to perform search in splay trees. And there we came to know that basically search in splay trees is same as search in binary search tree plus splaying. So we perform the search of any element in splay trees in this way. So this, these two steps are basically search in splay trees, right? That means the search is same as it is done in a binary search tree plus we, there is an additional step of splaying. Right? We need to perform splaying. So in splaying, what do we do? We saw in the previous video that in splaying, the element that we have searched, that element is actually brought at the root of the splay tree by doing several operations like zig, zigzag and zigzag, whichever is applicable in that particular case. Right? So we saw that. Even in case of insert operation in splay tree, we've performed the same formula. Rather, just just instead of search, here we are talking about insertion in splay trees and that is done in the same way how we do insertion in a normal binary search tree plus we also perform splaying after we have done this insertion on the node that is being inserted. So let us directly come to the example so that you can better understand what I am trying to say. Uh, so let us take this example of this play tree and we will insert all these elements and we will very easily understand that how do we perform insert operation in splay trees. So first of all, let us insert 55. So how do we insert 55 in a binary search tree? We start at the node. 55 is less than 80. So we come at the left side and 55 is less than 60. So we come on the left of 60. 55 is greater than 50, so we come on the right of 50 and here we insert 55. This is how we perform insertion in a binary search tree. But after that, we also need to do splaying. So what is splaying? This 55 has to be brought at the root of the tree, right, in place of 80, okay? So now we need to perform splaying. So please go and watch in the previous video that how we perform splaying or how we do the splay operation. So here as you can see that we can, so here the node that we have inserted, we can, in the entire video, we can call it as U. So obviously the parent of uh, U is PU and the grandparent of uh, U is GU, right? So we learned in the previous video that when the direction from grandparent of U to the parent of U, so in this case, that direction is left from 60 to 50 is different from the direction from parent of U to U. So in this case, it is right. In that case, we perform which operation? We perform zigzag operation, right? So all these things I've said in the previous video. So we perform the zigzag operation. So now the insertion of 55 is still not complete. It will complete when we take this 55 to the root of this play tree right when we perform the splaying. So let us do the zigzag operation. So how we do the zigzag operation? So first of all, we will do, so in the case of zigzag operation, we will need two rotations, right? So in this case, first of all, we will do, 
So as 55 is at the right of 50, so intuitively also we can think that this 55 has to reach 60. So first of all, it will reach 50. So for that, about 50, we will do a left rotation. Why? Because 55 is at the right of 50. So in order to reach 50, it will have to go to its left, right? We first do a left rotation about the parent. So when we do a left rotation, when we do a left rotation about this parent 50, we get this play tree, right? But again, to perform this zigzag operation, we want to bring this 55, which was U, which was our U, at the place of GU, right? Because we directly can't make it uh, jump at the root because maximum it can uh, go two levels up, right? In case of zigzag operation. Because in case of zigzag operation, it can maximum go two levels up, so it can reach at the place of its grandparent, which is 60. So now again, we need to perform a right rotation about, again, we need to perform the right rotation about the original grandparent. So the grandparent was 60. So we perform the right rotation, right? So when we perform the right rotation, this 55 comes at the place of 60 and 60 goes down to the right. That is why it is known as the right rotation. 60 comes down to the right. Okay. So this is the splay tree that we get after we perform this zigzag operation and u is the inserted element. So the direction from the grandparent to parent was actually opposite to the direction from parent to the inserted element. That is why we performed the zigzag operation and now the zigzag operation is complete. But is our splaying operation complete? What does the splaying operation tells us? It tells us that the element that you have inserted right now, it has to be brought to the root of the tree. So what was the element we inserted right now? It was 55. Is 55 at the root? No. So now we need to bring 55 at the root. So in this case, when 55 has no grandparent, or you can, in other words, you can say it is the child of the root, which operation do we perform? If you have seen the previous video, you will tell me we have to perform simply a zig operation, right? So in because 55 is the left child of the root, in order to bring it at the root, from year to year, we have to perform a right operation. So after we perform a right operation about this 80, and when we bring 55 over here, so the right child of uh, basically 55 is 60. Okay, but here 55 has a new right child that is 80. So now we need to know, so where we will attach the subtree rooted at 60. So for that, how we will do it? We know that this uh, splay tree is also a binary search tree. So we will follow the binary search tree property and we will see, okay, 60 is basically greater than 55. So we will come on the right side. 60 is less than 80. So we'll come on the left side. Here we can attach 60, right? So here we attach this uh, subtree rooted at 60. So this is the splay tree that we get when we have inserted 55. And as you can notice, 55 has come to the root. So our insert operation is complete for the element 55, right? Now let us eliminate. Uh, now let us insert the next element that is 45 in the split tree. Okay, so how we will insert 45? Again, how you insert in a binary search tree? You look at the root. Okay, 45 is less than 55. So we should come on the left side. 45 is less than 50. So we should come on the left side. Okay, here we insert 45. So now this is my U, this is my PU and this is my GU. So the inserted element is 45. Its parent is 50 and its grandparent is 55. So as you can see, the direction from the grandparent to parent is left and the direction from the parent to the child or the inserted ele element is again left. So both the directions are same. In this case, which operation do we perform? We perform which splay operation? In this case, we perform zigzag operation, right? What we will do? in order to perform zigzag operation. So our basic aim is to bring this newly inserted element at the root. So for that, we will do two right shifts because these are left childs and here is one uh, left grand, uh, grandchild who has to come at the grandparent. So he has to go to its right, correct? That is why intuitively also we will perform 
two right rotations, right? Because it's at the left, so two right rotations. So when we perform two right rotations, right? So here we performed a zigzag operation. This is the splay tree that we get, right? So 45 comes at the root and now we have inserted 45 at this place and we have also splayed that node at the top of the tree or at the root of the tree. So our insertion is complete. We did both the things. Here we inserted like how we do in a binary search tree and here we splayed that element 45 and made it go at the root, right? So our job is done. So we have also inserted 45. Now let's insert the next element that is 20. Okay, so now where 20 will come? 20 is less than 45. So 20 will come on the left. Okay, 20 will come over here. Okay, so now we have inserted 20. Great. Now then in order to complete the insertion of 20, uh, wh what do we need to do in a splay tree? We also need to splay that inserted node so that it comes at the root of this splay tree. So for that, if you see this node that has to be splayed, it doesn't have a grandparent. Or you can also say that it is the child of the root. So in this case, which operation do we perform? We perform simply a zig operation. So in zig operation, what we will do? We will do, because it is the left child, we will do a right rotation, correct? So after performing the zig operation, this is the splay tree that we get. 20 has reached at the root and our splaying is also complete. We have already inserted 20 and now our splaying operation is also complete. So we have finally inserted 20 also, okay? So 20 is also inserted. Now let's insert the next element that is 30. So to insert 30, we look at the root. 30 is greater than 20, so it will come on the right side. 30 is less than 45, so it will come on the left side. And here we insert 30. But is the insert operation complete? No, because this element that we have recently inserted has to be brought at the root. That means we have to perform the splaying operation. So let us perform the splaying operation. So here, which splaying operation should be performed? Zig, zigzag or zigzag? Now you have to tell me. If you guessed that we should perform the zigzag operation, you are right. But you should also know that why we need to perform the zigzag operation. Because in this case, this is our U or the newly inserted element. This is the parent of U. This is the grandparent of U. And as you can see, the direction from the grandparent of U to the parent of U is right. And the direction from the parent of U to U is basically left. So these are two opposite directions. And in case where these are two opposite directions, we perform zigzag operation, right? So it is not necessary that this should be right and this should be left. Suppose if we had to splay this node 70, okay? So in this case also, if you see, this is my U, this is my parent of U, this is my grandparent of U. So in this case also, the direction from the grandparent to parent is left and the direction from the parent to U is right. So here also we'll perform zigzag operation. This is a kind of a mirror case of this case, right? So now let us perform the zigzag operation. So when we perform the zigzag operation, what kind of rotations we do? So we have to look at, uh, so we have to look over here and uh, think what rotations are required. So as you can see here in the first rotation, which is done about the parent, every time when we perform the zigzag operation, the first rotation is done about the parent and the second rotation is done about the grandparent, okay? There is no need of confusion. So when we perform the zigzag operation, suppose if this is my U, this is my PU and this is 50 is my GU. So in this case, every time the rotation, both the rotations are performed about the grandparent, right? It will be which rotation? Left rotation or right rotation? So because this is the left child, so we need to perform the right rotation. So when we perform the right rotation, this parent will come down to the right and the tree that we'll get is, so after we perform this right rotation across this parent, this child will take the parent's place. So this 30 that we had to splay, this node came over here. We performed a right rotation, right? But the zigzag operation completes in two rotations. So again, we need to perform a left rotation about the grandparent. So when we perform the rotation about the grandparent, this is the tree or the splay tree that we get, right? 
at this child comes at the place of the grandparent and the grandparent comes down to the left that is why it is called a left rotation so these both two rotations combined basically form a zigzag rotation correct either it can be first right then left or first left then right but it will always be two rotations okay so now we have also inserted 30 why because we have done the splaying operation also after inserting it so now let us insert the last element which is 10 so when we insert the last element 10 it will be inserted over here right because according to binary search tree property and then we also need to splay this 10 so it is very easy uh, so now you have to tell me that how will we perform splaying which operation will perform zig zigzag or zigzag of course we'll perform the zigzag operation why because the direction from the grandparent to the parent is same as the direction from the parent to the newly inserted element and that direction is left correct so we perform the zigzag operation so what we need to do in this case we need to perform two right rotations correct because finally what is our aim we need to bring this 10 or the newly inserted element at the root so for that we need to perform two right rotations correct even intuitively if we think we can understand so as you can see over here after uh, performing a zigzag rotation this is the splay tree that we get the 10 is finally brought at the root and our insertion of 10 is complete right because this is the splaying operation that we did over here so now let us just verbally insert another element so let us insert the element 53 okay because i want to know that if you have 100% understood the insertion operation in splay trees or not so how we'll insert 53 we will check at the root 53 is greater than 10 okay we come to the right 53 is greater than 20 we come to the right 53 is greater than 30 we come to the right 53 is greater than 45 we come to the right 53 is greater than 50 we come to the right 53 is less than 55 so we insert 53 over here now we have to perform the splay operation so for performing the splay operation what are the different rotations we need to do in order to bring this 53 at the root so first of all we'll do which splay operation because direction from year to year is right and year to year is left that implies bo because both these directions are opposite that means we have to do zigzag okay finally 53 will come over here when we do that zigzag okay after that what operation we need to do the direction from the grandparent to the parent is actually right and the direction from the parent to the child is again right so we need to do zigzag operation right and after doing zigzag operation it will come two levels up or at the place of its grandparent so r50 will reach over here right again now which uh, splay operation we need to do again zigzag because this is the same case so basically here we needed to do zigzag operation this is just for you to know that it it is not necessary that just in one splay operation the entire insertion is complete it may require multiple splay operations as well right as for a single insert so now uh, if we look at the time complexity if we look at the time complexity of an insert operation in splay trees of a single insert operation if you talk about the asymptotic time complexities it will be order of n why order of n because your splay tree can also be a skewed tree and you can insert an element suppose uh, if we take this tree and if you are asked to insert 100 right so this is a skewed tree this will take order of n times so this is the worst case time complexity but if we consider amortized time complexity that i've already taught you in that case the time complexity for a single insert operation will be order of log n okay it will be order of log n and here i'm talking about the amortized time complexity so that's all from this video in this video we learned the insert operation in splay trees and in the next video we will learn how to perform delete operation in splay trees see you in the next video until then goodbye